Hi, my name is Jack. In today's video, we'll be talking about your experience ko and the things that I've learned from trading the Philippine stock market. And if ikaw yung tao na wala experience about trading, siguro just stick around. Kasi I think yung lessons mga sasabihin ko are still relatable and essential in our daily lives. Okay, quick back story lang. I started trading the Philippine stock market nung second half na nung 2017. Kasi I was inspired by one of our speakers. And yun, para lang ako nanguhula ng mga panahong yun. So, kasi wala pa ako system nun eh. So, parang bumibili ka lang ng hindi mo alam. Basta tumataas, sumabagsak. So, wala akong ka-idea-idea nun. Then, nung nag-start yung 2018, dun na ako nagsimula mag-journal and inaral ko na yung mga system, yung mga technical analysis na sinishare sa ZFT system and Investagrams online. Now, let's move on na from the important lessons na natutunan ko from trading the Philippine stock market. Lesson number one is cut your losses. Uh, I think, uh, tingin ko isa to sa mga dapat pinakauna nating matutunan as a trader kasi nakadepende dito yung port mo eh. So, may kita mo to lagi sa mga groups, sa mga forums. Isa, isa to sa mga topic na lagi mo may kita doon. Uh, you'll see yung mga tao nag-share ng mga port nila, they're 10% down. And, ang sakit nun. Sobrang sakit nun. And I think isa to sa mga pinakamahirap matutunan kasi ang hirap tanggapin na mali ka. And, to some point, it is connected to our ego. One of my book recommendations with regards to this is yung The Deep. So, this book is about quitting. So, parang same lang din with the concept of cutting your losses. Now, this lesson not only extends sa akin when it comes to trading, pero to my friends also and to sa mga ginagawa ko activities ko. So, dumating na nga to a point na this may sound harsh, pero I tend to spend less time now with my friends na who doesn't make me productive at some point. So, I guess yun niya. Ah, don't let your friends drag you down. Cut them. <laughs> Lesson number two. Always be rational, never emotional. When it comes to stock trading, how I see it is siya yung reflection ng sentiment ng mga investors and traders. So kung titingnan mo, uh, yung price movement naman is just based on sa buying and selling ng mga tao. So ano siya eh? It's the sentiment ng mga tao. Either they're bearish or they're bullish. So, uh, paano ba? Once you enter a trade, hindi ka pwedeng uh, wala kang plano. So, hindi ka pwedeng nakabase lang sa emotions mo. Should always be rational. Dapat before you enter a trade, uh, alam mo na kung kailan ka bibili, how long you will hold yung trade mo, and when you will sell it. Hindi ka pwedeng nakakapag-base lang sa emotions mo. Kasi, chamba lang yun. And sa stock market, hindi pwede yung pachamba-chamba ka lang. Because, uh, kunwari, maka one time, big time ka. And, gagawin mo ulit, itatry mo na, itatry ulit yun. Matatalo ka lang sa losses mo, magkakat ka na magkakat. So, hindi siya advisable. You should always have a plan and be consistent with it. So, for me, nagagamit ko to when it comes to like buying yung mga bagay-bagay na gusto ko with my life. So, ako, I try not to buy something out of emotion. So, paano ko ginagawa yun? Ako, kaya may nagustuhan ako. Nyalagay ko muna siya sa wishlist ko and after some time. If gusto ko pa rin siya and it all makes sense, tsaka ko pa siya bibili. Uh, hindi, ayokong bumibili ng ano, parang out of yung burst ng emotions ko. Lesson number three, give your best but never go all in. So, madalas magita mo to sa mga maliliit na ports kasi sa trading naman, yung gains mo is relative dun sa size nung ano yung port mo. For example, uh, nag-trade ka ng 1 million, then nag-gain yun ng 10%. So, yung gain mo is 100,000. Pero kung 100,000 lang yung uh, bin binay mo, yung 10% nung nun, pag nakapag-gain ka, is 10K lang. If 10K lang yan, tapos yung 10% nun, yun lang yung gain mo, it's 1,000 lang. So, makita mo, relative siya dun sa size. So, pag maliit yung port, usually, nag-all-in yan eh. Pero hindi dapat ganun. Kasi, para lang naglalaro nun sa game show eh. Makita mo, usually, di ba, sa mga game show, parang, ah, uh, lagi silang umu-all-in. Parang, they're always looking for the jackpot. Bukas! 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 Bukas to! Level 7 ang kapili niya! Ano kaya to? Bukas! Bukas! 
and hindi dapat ganun. You should build yung trades mo on a consistent basis na parang mag-snowball na lang siya into something big. Meron niyang kasabihan na there's no one trade na will, that will define you. So, yun. Instead na umasa ka sa one time, big time, just build your wealth through consistent good trades. Lesson number four, you will be wrong. The stock market corrects the arrogant. The stock market always corrects itself. In, lay in layman's term, bumabagsak siya. Dito ko nakita na you may have the perfect setup. Kahit na mag-breakout pa yan, may possibilities na hindi tumuloy. Meaning, mali ka. And having the mindset na you may be wrong allows you to be prepared na if hindi uh, mag-agree sa'yo yung trade mo, alam mo yung gagawin, alam mo yung gagawin mo. While if hindi mo, uh, while if hindi ka aware na pwede kang magkamali, if tingin mo lagi kang tama, it's a tragic, parang, it's a tragedy for you if ganun yung mindset mo pag nagtitrade ka. Kasi, trust me, you will be wrong and if hindi mo tatanggapin yon, you're doomed, you're fucked. As I age, though, I'm still fairly young, I'm just 25. Dito ko na-realize na a lot of people can't admit na mali sila. They just justify yung ginawa nila kahit obviously mali naman sila. And if ikaw yung tao na aware and admits na mali ka and you correct it, trust me, you're on the right path, dude. Tuloy mo lang yan. You'll go a very long way. Lesson number five is ito. Uh, lesson number five, risk management. So, dito na papasok yung risk reward ratio mo, yung VAR mo, yung yung VAR na lang naman in simple terms is yung amount on uh, your percentage ng portfolio mo na you are willing to lose in one trade. So, siguro ma-apply mo to in real life pagka uh, magtatayo ka ng business, yung amount ng capital na gagamitin mo, yun lang yung parang willing ka to lose. One of the basic na counterpart nito in real world is yung pros and cons. So, ako, basta naman ginagamit mo to on a rational way and madalas. So, for example, may gusto kang gawin. Usually naman, tatanoy mo yung pros and cons niyan eh. So, if laging na outweigh yung pros mo yung cons, then just do it. Yun lang yung basic na application ng risk management in our daily lives. Disclosure lang, I'm not currently trading anymore. I stopped noong March of 2019. Kasi dumating na sa point na it's not emotionally healthy para sa akin. Masyado akong naging attached dun sa mga trades ko. Kasi sakit na eh. Parang every time na mag-enter ka ng trade mo, you're already down 1.19%. And di nyo siya, I can't really think clear na nung mga panahon na yon Kaya nag-purge ako just to refresh yung sarili ko. I lost 9% nung port ko on the process. Which is quite hefty para matutunan ko itong mga lesson na to. Pero it's all worth it naman para sa akin. Sulit pa din. Uh, Nag-iipon lang ulit ako ng trading capital ko. Then I'll be back trading again. Siguro much better na and with a better perspective. Kahit na natalo ako from trading the stock market, I still highly encourage everyone na itry yung pag-trade ng stock market. Kasi it will give you a perspective na dun mo lang makikita on how you deal talaga with money, yung emotions mo. Basta, iba-iba, there's something unique na dun mo lang makikita. Yung greed mo, yung fear mo about money, yun. You learn it from trading the stock market. So, ayun lang. Uh, that's the only uh, lessons na natutu... I mean, madami pa, pero yun lang yung parang tingin ko na i-share ko muna. So, I guess, yun na. See you on the next videos na lang. Uh, you know the drill, parang like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know it. Bye!